Okay, welcome back to Bounce Around Charleston. There's a wonderful pageant coming up. And the question is, who will be the next Miss Plus Size Charleston 2016? I have two people here standing next to me who will help me with that. Delman Drayton, CEO, and Michelle Grant Moncrief, the official Miss Plus Size Charleston. Welcome to Bounce Around Charleston. Thank you. Thank you. How has it been in your reign to be the Miss Plus Size? In my reign, it's been a great experience um, to help others, mm -hmm. even more now than I was before. Um, taking young ladies with me along to church. Mm -hmm. I've helped with the Emmanuel 9, um, getting water and taking them to each family's home or to the actual funeral. I've done a plea for some wigs for the Cancer Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. Went to several programs and handed out some wigs and went to one program and didn't even know it was a cancer program and was able to go outside and get about 10 to 15 wigs and give it to a minister by the name of Abdiva Baxter mm -hmm. um, because she's going through that bout and she was, I was able to help her with her wigs and some for people that's going through with her and at the doctor's office she goes to. Okay, so Delman, how did you come up with this concept? Well, back in 2012, myself and uh, a young lady by the name of Edwina Walker we met in Walmart and we were just talking and uh, she stopped me, she said, aren't you Delman? I said, yes. She said, I always wanted to talk to you. I said, okay. I said, um, I got this idea that I want to do. And she said, I got an idea too. I said, well, um, I always wanted to do a plus size pageant. She was like, me too, me too. So her and I got together, we collaborated and we had our first Miss Plus Size Charleston pageant in 2012 with our winner being Miss Noah Flood. Mm -hmm. So how do you find the women? Well, myself, like I did Michelle, I go around asking, yes. have you ever been in a pageant? Uh, you're very beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, would you like to be in my pageant? And they would ask, what type of pageant? And I would go to my phone to pull up pictures and show them. Mm -hmm. Michelle. Yes. In reference to self-esteem, because you have some women who would probably never do a pageant. Mm -hmm. So what has this done in reference to self-esteem for some of these women? Well, because being plus size is one of the things that they're bullied about, um, by them seeing me step out of the box, they're more confident within themselves because mm -hmm. they said that I have confidence. Mm -hmm. And I try to let them know that by being plus size, um, we are just as the smaller people are. Mm -hmm. And if we all were supposed to be the same, we would be in a very boring world. Mm. So as a plus size woman, you have to be confident within yourself to know that God cre created you for who he wants you to be. So you have to be who he wants you to be and step out. So what have some of these other women said to you personally? Well, I've had ladies come to me and said that I've inspired them mm -hmm. because I'm very confident in my size. I don't let it stop me from doing anything. They like to see me dress because I'm always very well dressed being a plus size woman mm -hmm. and I don't let and anybody you can sing too. yes sir <laughs> yes and I don't let people say to me oh you're a big pretty girl or and let that offend me mm -hmm. I say thank you because I am okay yes. okay Delman what what have some of the women said to you well some of the ladies that I've met before the pageant some women wouldn't even come outside right because they were so afraid of um uh, society looking at them and judging them saying oh look at that big girl or um, she big or you know mm -hmm. um, but when they became a part of the pageant system for Miss Plus Size Charleston mm -hmm. they've loosened up uh, we can't even get them to be quiet in rehearsal no more. <laughs> so how successful have your pageants been? It has been successful. Been successful. Yes. This year has the most contestants we have ever had. We have a total of 17 contestants this 17 year. 17 contestants plus size women. Yes. And 17 signed up for next year thus far. Wanting to walk out on the runway. Yes, yes sir. And strut their stuff. Yes, sir. Okay. So now this is what happened when? May the 6th and 7th. On that Friday night, we will be downtown at the Satoli Theater mm -hmm. with Michelle's farewell reception. Um, the tickets are $20 for the farewell reception. And then on Saturday, 5 o'clock p.m. sharp, we will start with the Miss Plus Size Charleston 2016. We will take it to the Wiz, and we're going to Emerald City. Let me tell you what, it used to be a Burke High School. Yes. And now you're going downtown. Yes, sir. To the Satelli Theater. Yes, sir. Because that's just how much the pageant has grown. Yes, sir. 
Uh, we're very proud of you, and we thank you, thank you. Michelle. I've yes. known you for a while. Yes, sir. And I'm, I, I think it's just wonderful. And for more information, you can visit their website at MissPlusCharleston.com. Email mm, at Outstanding Occasions by Delman at gmail.com. Let me tell you something. You want to do that, and we're going to give away free two tickets. And so the first two people to respond to the Bounce Around Charleston Facebook page, you're getting two tickets. But let us know how to contact you so you can receive your two tickets. And the nine finalists have made it to perform at the 2016 McDonald's Choir Showcase. And let me tell you what, you want to stay tuned because those finalists will talk about it here and you're going to hear one of the gospel groups right here who's a top gospel artist who will be there also on that show. Mm, don't you leave the station. Stay right here for bouncer, more Bounce Around Charleston. Thank you.